Good morning everyone. How is everyone doing today? Hope you're all well. Right, today I'm in Teddington Cemetery near Twickenham. Not too far outside London. And today I'm coming to look for Mike the Barman or Kenneth MacDonald. He's been in a number of things, Only Fools and Horses, It Ain't Half Hot Mum, amongst other things, uh, brush strokes, lots of different stuff. So that's who we are here to see today. Right, well I'm sorry about any wind noise or whatever you might be hearing, it's an extremely blustery day. Right, this fella, yeah, he's been in a lot of stuff and uh, what I really know him for is Mike the Barman, out of Only Fools and Horses. He was probably one of my favourite characters in the whole programme. But I know he's uh, buried in here somewhere. I've actually uh, watched the video that um, Unusual Things made. And I know he's in here, I know he's got a very unusual headstone. So what I'll do is I'll swing you around same as usual. We'll have a little wander around the cemetery and see if we can find him. Kenneth MacDonald was born in Manchester, the son of Scottish heavyweight wrestling champion Bill MacDonald, who died of kidney failure at the age of 43 when Kenneth was just 13. He attended Severian College Preparatory School in Fallowfield, Manchester, St Anthony's Preparatory School in Stony Stratford, Buckinghamshire, and went on to St Bernardine's Franciscan School College in Buckingham where he took part in school productions, notably The Business of Good Government, in which he played Herod, and Arsenic and Old Lace. Ken left school at 18 to help support his mother, Emily. He took a job at a Kellogg's Cornflakes factory. Doing night shifts, he would perform Hamlet and other Shakespeare plays that he had learned at school, earning the nickname Hamlet. MacDonald met his wife Sheila while he was appearing in Panto in Crewe in 1976. She was a costume designer at the time. They had two children, William, born 1986, and Charlotte, born 1989. MacDonald's first television role was Benny in Softly Softly in 1972. In 1975, he made a guest appearance in Series 2, Episode 1 of Last of the Summer Wine. A year later, he moved to London and joined the National Youth Theatre. He appeared in a 1977 episode of Dad's Army. MacDonald featured regularly in the BBC sitcom It Ain't Our Hot Mum, running from 3rd of January 1974 to 3rd of September 1981. It was set in the jungles of Burma and India during the Second World War, and MacDonald played the character Gunny Gunner. Nobby Clark, a member of a Royal Artillery concert party. He also had a minor part as Jacko's brother in the comedy series Brushstrokes, which ran from 1986 to 1991, in which he was married to the less than faithful Gloria. When he landed the part of pub landlord Mike in Only Fools and Horses, episode Who's a Pretty Boy in in 1983, it was initially believed to be a one-episode role. However, the character became a series regular, appearing until Christmas 1996. Del, look at my hair. I went one of them. I've only got to stick my head out the window for ten seconds and it's bone dry. MacDonald also appeared in the Granada Television Rentals television adverts of the late 1970s and made a cameo appearance in one episode of Good Night Sweetheart, playing Mr Jones alongside his Only Fools and Horses co-star Nicholas Lindhurst. He also appeared in an episode of The Thin Blue Line as a club owner. In 1996 he played D.I. McCluskey in Crocodile Shoes 2 alongside Jimmy Nail. In 1992, MacDonald had a brief appearance on a Channel 4 soap, Brookside, as George Webb, a racist owner of a petrol station. His character Mike in Only Fools and Horses was not killed off. When the programme was revived for three episodes from 2001, after MacDonald's death, Mike was imprisoned for trying to embezzle the brewery. 
MacDonald died suddenly on 6th of August 2001 at the age of 50 after suffering a massive heart attack while on holiday with his family in Hawaii. Seven days after his death, MacDonald's guest appearance on BBC television drama Merseybeat was aired, with the episode dedicated to his memory. He was buried on 16th of August 2001 at Teddington Cemetery in Teddington in the London borough of Richmond upon Thames. Well, after a lot of looking around, I found his resting place and um, I stood right next to a really sad sight. It's a child section, lots of little children there. Now that is really sad and that has put a chill up my spine, that one. That is really sad. It looks like we've got a little cremation section here. But yeah, uh, Kenneth MacDonald, definitely my favourite character, Mike the Barman, out of Only Falls and Horses. It's the only thing I really watched him in. I didn't really get on with um, It Ain't Half Lot Mum, even though it was very popular. I couldn't get on with it. But anyway, I'm going to spin you around and we'll have a look at his grave. Well, here it is, the final resting place of Kevin MacDonald. This bush is looking a bit overgrown. Let's have a look. Magnificent headstone. Kenneth MacDonald, 20th of November 1950 to the 6th of August 2001, aged 50. Loved as a father, husband, son and brother. Remembered as a great actor and friend. Is there anything on the back? No. Well, it has got some writing around the edge. He's gone to join the circus in the sky. There will never be another. What survives of us is love. That's nice. Ooh. Well, there it is, the final resting place of Kenneth MacDonald. Well, that is it. Another great actor that was taken way too soon. I mean, 50 years old. It's like all the cast of Only Fools and Horses are dying. Buster Merrifield, obviously Trigger, and Kenneth. But anyway, that is it for another one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing. And uh, I will see you on the next one wherever that is. So bye-bye for now.